What is going on guys, DBG here, and I just saw this come up on my news, on my like Twitter feed, a Ty Debo and I might be retiring video in NBA 2K20 for my team. Obviously, um, I think it's it's almost at that stage for a lot of us, like, are you guys have, if you guys haven't known like how much work I've been putting into the basketball channel over the last couple of weeks, like, we're up at one and a half thousand subs right now, like doing pretty well. I can see right here videos averaging the guts of a thousand views on average. Some of them doing well, and like with the total for these, I think we're at about forty thousand views in forty eight hours, which is kind of wild on this channel. Which is really do appreciate all the support on it. Um, but yeah, like I do think a lot of us are going to be in that boat of retiring very soon, especially guys like myself and Ty who. How many videos Ty? Like I posted over ten thousand my team videos. Ty has posted six and a half thousand, so we've posted a lot of videos. Is good, yeah. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be going over and talking about how tomorrow is going to basically be the deciding factor on what the future is for me specifically. Um I can I can't see the smoke getting any better. I'm not gonna lie. I can't see the smoke getting any better. And 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 specifically with content creation. Uh because look, I don't think anybody is a fool to realize that the last three months in my team has not been fun. Disastrous. It's been basically hidden all behind gambling. And just from like a content creation standpoint. It's impossible. You it's the accessibility is genuinely impossible to make content that isn't just ranting about this game. Like, it's actually impossible. Especially the, like, the content that we make. Especially the content that we make. It is impossible. Like, if you want to make constant rant videos, like, cool. And, like, the worst part is, is that, like, if we, we either have to almost retire from content... Or do things we don't necessarily want to do. Because you have to freaking give this god-awful company money to make content. And then, like, for myself and Ty, who don't gamble, who don't open packs and don't gamble on anything. Well, more so myself, because he obviously doesn't MT. Me, who won't gamble at all. Um, It's just impossible. It's impossible. It's not there. Um, you can't get the cards you want to get. You have to gamble for everything. There's no more making, you know, oh, uh, you know, start bench cut videos because half the cards you literally can't get. There's no, you know, lineup upgrades because the cards aren't attainable you want. The biggest thing I had fun with throughout my, my team career has been sniping on the auction house. That's gone. Every like, ironically enough, I think one of the big things with sniping is, is that for people that didn't open packs, the endorphin rush from getting a snipe was almost the same as the endorphin rush from getting a pack but one of them two can make money and the other they don't so i don't see it coming back everything in this game mode has went downhill and there's one thing one company one person to play and it's 2k themselves and tomorrow if we see the same type of season that we have seen we're going to we're going to and like you're going to be seeing me you're going to be hearing me literally out there in freaking leads I'm in Leeds, game kicks off at 7pm, or 8pm, I'm pretty sure. Please tell me it's 8pm, I don't want to be late to the game. Um, yeah, so it's game kicks off at 8pm, content comes out, gets released at 7pm, the blog. I'm going to be recording my two 8 minute videos in the hotel. Getting out of there at 20 past, getting there as fast as I can to Ellen Road. But I am almost certain things are not going to look good. I'm almost certain seen for the last two seasons i'm out and i mean that i'm i'm out because ncaa football comes out in mid-july and once that happens again if we see season seven is behind gambling i'm done Fair. i have dedicated so much of and i don't want to make this just about me because all the other content creators are dealing with the same thing but i've i i've devoted so much of my life to, to this game right here. A game that I've seen at its peak be immaculate. 21 and 20, 20 to 22 was some, actually, Ty wasn't here in 19. 19 to 22 was seriously good run.
be immaculate. You're looking at at, 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 at times. I, I had crazy amounts of, of views, crazy amounts of watch time, just crazy amount of, of success. You're seeing times that, you know, I, for, for a one day view, I've reached a hundred and, you know, 115, 131,000 views in one day. That's crazy. Like 2K has brought me so many great, great, great opportunities. Now, we've got nothing. Like we're probably in, like what is Ty? Like I'm at about, like I wonder what, what's Ty at? Probably 800,000 views a month? Like he's definitely on more than me. Like what is he on? It was like me between the two channels, between DBG and um thing is at about, I'm at about 900,000 a month. Ty's, actually Ty's at 1 million a month. So Ty's pulling in all right views. And that's a surprise because like Ty's probably making pretty decent money out of this. So like Ty's been, Ty's been actually killing it in fairness. He's been at like 1.5 mil, whereas I've been at like 600k, but like, he's doing a lot better than I thought he was. Fair play to Ty. But like, even if you're looking compared to last year, he's down like, oh, he's down from last year, 600,000 views a month. Yeah, he's down 600,000 views a month. I think I'm down like, I'm uploading less, so I can't even call myself, but like from, from when I was uploading, like my peak, in May of 2020, I think I was at 4 mil in May of 2022. So, like, I'm down from 4 mil to, like, under. I'm down 75% in a couple of years. But, like, it's it's all in the game. It's all in the game, the type of content we want to make. Like, we don't want to make ramp videos. We would love to make content in this game. The problem is there's not enough content to make in this game. And then, like, if you say, oh, but, like, pivot and be Henry. Do you know, do you know how hard that is to do? Do you know how hard that is to do to make that type of pivot? And there's also no, like, there's no scope for growth in that pivot. Like, if you're going to make a pivot into more entertainment-based content, you might as well... First of all, we might as well leave my team community entirely because there's more scope in other communities. As well as that, because my team is just a dead game mode anyway. So even if you're making the best content ever, you're, make, you're getting 30,000 views. Um, on top of that, you've got... What myself and Ty are very good at is the fact that we're disciplined. Like, when we're actually focused, we're disciplined and we're getting stuff out. And I can guarantee you that if Ty does what he does with the amount of content he produces with his expertise and the fact that he's going, because of his hand-like coordination, he's going to be good at any video game, I can guarantee you that whatever community Ty goes into, if he can still kind of make this type of my team-based content around it in a similar way, in the four to five videos a day, because, like, he'll boom. He'll absolutely boom. I can guarantee you that. can guarantee you. A lot, like, he's much more scoped than my team anyway. We've got nothing. And it all stems back to the way 2K has done things. They've made this basically a casino instead of an actual basketball game. And they know that they can do it because it's the only basketball game out there. There's no NBA Live. There's no other game to really contend, compete with this. But it comes down to this, guys. When I look at my myself specifically and what I personally enjoy doing, do I have fun every day loading up this game mode? Do I have fun every day loading up, creating content for this game mode? Recently, no. And I think it boils down to if the growth within this game mode is not there, if the if the fun I'm having playing this specific game mode is not there, there's only a certain amount of things I can do. Again, I've, I've been doing this for four years, man. And it's it's brought me some of the best times of my life. I do, triple down on that. I've been doing it for four, more, four years longer. Like I've been doing this as a full-time job since... I'm pretty sure it was my only source of income. Like I did work, I did like a few like summer jobs in like the summers of 2016, 17, and 18. Even I was making good money into it as years. Um, but like as a job that I was making as my part-time job in college, I've been doing this since since June of 2016. So I've been doing this almost a decade right now, and this mode has given me so much. And not, I'm not even going to say this mode has given me so much. You guys, you guys have given me so much um, for watching the videos. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But I'm telling you guys this to, to today. If tomorrow in the blog, we see that, that Friday's drop is going to be special inserts and lock in for this. Of course it is. Of course in, it is. Like, I, I, I'm done. Of course it is. Because... 
I can't keep doing this. I can't keep going over the same cycle where I'm trying to make the most out of a game that does not care. This game doesn't care about its creators. This game doesn't care about anything outside of the money and, a, and, and, and pleasing their stockholders, which I get that's an important part of the game. But at the end It's not an important part of the game. It's not an important part of the game. As uh, genuinely, as players, we should not give a flying fuck about the stockholders. Unpopular opinion. We shouldn't care less about them. They don't care about us. Ironically, they don't care. Like, they don't care about us. Why should we care about them? I don't care what pleases the stockholders. I just want to play the game. And even if, if they make a decision to please the stockholder, it makes the game worse. I don't care. I don't care about the logic. I don't care about the, oh, they have to do that. No, they, yeah, I don't really care. I actually don't care. And none of us should care. And that's why I never understand people making the arguments on behalf of the billion dollar company. Why do we care when their product gets worse? We are consumers of their product. We are not stockholders. If you want to buy some stock, then you can care about that crap. At the end of the day, if your community is not happy with the game, if you're, if, if the views are down, if the publicity is down, how do you think that impacts your game? Any publicity is, is good publicity for a, a game like 2K, honestly. Like, the, 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 the more that their game mode gets out there, the more that their game grows and gets out there, the better off it's going to be. Their game's not growing. Their game's not growing. Every single year, their game sales are less than the year before, and then they release the game for like a $10 sale. Then it's free and they inflate the numbers. Their game sales are down. So when you're looking at the views of 2K and specifically my team, now compared to two years ago, a year ago, three years ago, it's bad. Apologies. Apologies. It's bad. And I feel like for me personally, God's telling me something. And and, 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 and I firmly believe that. Yeah, apologies. That. Um, apologies I, I'm, there. I'm a, I'm a person ran by faith. Apologies. And I believe that this game mode going to where it's at is going to lead to greater things for me personally and so i will double and triple down on that and i've genuinely i've always said this and this is not to be cocky because this guy is a better version of what i was at my best like ties whatever i'm capable of doing he's capable of doing it better because he's just in general better he's a more likable person He's not Irish, which does help in this scene, not being Irish. I will say that. Um, whatever game he goes to, he's going to be better than it. I'm better at it than me. And he's not psychotic. So that kind of helps too. I've always said this though, is that anyone who has come from the My Team community, especially that came through in the like peak DBG era. Because what I was doing in 2K20, in 2K19, Changed the entire game. As in, you could no longer upload a video every three or four days. With the way the algorithm was, with the way the viewership was. The likes of Henry, Denver. We, uh, Ty, uh, YBC who dropped, who stopped doing a bio. Like, we all worked ourselves into the damn ground. We woke up, worked, slept. Woke up, worked, slept. Woke up, worked, slept. And did it for years. Seven days a week, no weekends off. The work ethic that guys in this community have shown... There's a reason why so many guys in the My Team community excel elsewhere. And Ty is going to do that. Like, what Ty is doing is, like, almost unheard of in other communities. Whatever community Ty goes into, that work rate is going to be something that's never seen before by them. And he's going to boom. Trust me on that one. Once he's into a bigger niche. 2K was great, because he was great at the game. And there was an audience. That audience isn't there for 2K anymore. But wherever, if he goes somewhere with an audience... Sky is the freaking limit for this guy. Trust me on that. And that's why I'm so confident about my basketball channel. Is that. Like, I still have the discipline. I still have the drive. Not for this game. I still have the drive that I once had when it came to content creation. Especially to build something up from the start. And also, I am psychotic. Like, there's no... Me and... If you've been watching long, if you know that me and sanity don't really go well together. So, yeah, you're gonna see the, like stupid work rate for that and i can guarantee wherever he goes it's gonna be equally as much work rate without the like craziness again i i, I this isn't necessarily me saying for sure that that that, that things are gonna happen but i'm telling you if, if content continues like the way it's been going the last yes they are if you know anything about this guy yes they are gonna happen two seasons there's, there's just no way I can continue to to, to, to go through the same thing that, that I'm doing right now. There's just no way. I can make pivots. I can make content. Uh, and I, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I believe in myself. I, I believe in this guy too. And I think the pivot away from my team, 
I think the mistake, the biggest mistakes that I've made over the last couple of years is trying to pivot my my team content. Like you can see on the DBG channel, like I just don't have enjoyment anymore. Like I find it really, it's really hard to pivot within the my team game mode because I just don't enjoy the game mode. I don't like to place the games in, so it's really hard to make the content. But I do think pivoting away smart thing and Ty's gonna kill it. At the end of the day, I believe in myself, and I believe that I'm not made by this game. Do am I very skilled at this game? Is that one of the better things about me in this game specifically? Sure. Absolutely. But none of us are made by this game. No, absolutely none of us are made by this game. The reason why people say that is an awful lot of us that do pivot. We pivot without like an actual plan. We pivot without money in the bank. We pivot without other things going and we're not able to stick to the pivot long enough for it to like for the results to start showing. Anyone who leaves this community who sticks to a pivot for long enough, who's in the financial position to stick to a pivot long enough with what with the skills that we develop and the work where we develop will succeed on this YouTube platform. Trust me on that. If 2K is not gonna put in the effort, if they're not gonna make the game great that we that we all deserve, I deserve better, and y'all watching this video deserve better as well. And I mean that. Y'all deserve better than the way my team and the way this game has been going is. And if you enjoy the game because it is a basketball game, that's fine. But let's talk about it as a basketball game. Not even my team. Apologies. You guys have fun playing my career. What about play now? What about my league? The most fun you could probably have in, in this game right now is making a my league in which you sim games. Yeah, most fun is not like playing build it. build a squad. Like, I, I, I don't... Playing the game, the gameplay, I don't even think it's that bad, but it's not fun. Like, it's, it's not a fun game to play. It's no, it's not fun. They've taken out anything that's fun to do. Anything that people call fun. Unless your idea of fun is running a couple of set plays, um, running off a bunch of screens, or just playing low difficulty and shooting in the CPU's face. Like, there's actually no fun in the game. Dribbling, gone. Post-game, gone. Ability to, like, go to the basket, like, in certain ways and start driving kick and score freely on offense, gone. Ability to switch on defense, if that's how you enjoy playing it and getting lanes, gone. So, yeah, they've taken away... They have not, they've not even intended to make a full, fun game. Fun is, does not, I actually think like Mike Wang and those guys are good at their job, but they don't actually try to make the game fun. Making a fun game is actually not a priority for 2K. It's not a fun game to play. It's not an enjoyable experience. There's just nothing that I'm enjoying right now about the game. And I know a lot of the community feels the My exact same are fun. way as me. A lot of people are going to be like, yeah, I'll we'll see you later, Ty. We don't, like, that's fine. But if, I, I, I'm going to say it like this. If you think the creators are the problem, if you think the people that play the game and complain are the problem, if you think that anybody outside of the people that are working for 2K is the problem, or the head-ups of 2K are the problem, you're wrong. And I I, 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 I... I think everyone's part of the problem. I think I'm not... I No one individually is part of the problem, and there's no point attacking anyone individually, especially because they're just doing their jobs. But the problem is everything from the live service team to the devs to um, the higher ups, everyone, that whole chain of command is, they're all at fault. I promise you that even if 2K is seeing decent results right now, it's not sustainable. It's not. People are not having fun playing the game. And if you're not enjoying something, you'd be a fool to continue to do it. And so again, I'll load up that blog tomorrow and I'm telling you, for maybe the rest of this summer, I'll do what I got to do. But when I look at my future on, on, on in my team, I I I gen and I I, I what I, I genuinely don't see why I'd continue uploading my team content. I actually don't see why anyone not why anyone would do it. I I genuinely don't like again as someone who is currently doing it. I would be dumb to stop. Like. I've always said it, I'd be dumb to stop. Like I've tried other things, and they failed. One thing I know I'm good at is getting out a lot of, a lot of videos, and I'm good at just talking. As far as you may like me, you may hate me, but normally, when I make a video talking about something, it's either one of those two reactions, which means that I know I can have success just talking. You're probably got, you're either gonna love what I say or hate what I say, which is the ideal thing as far as the entertainment industry goes. Which is again why I've moved on. Obviously, you're talking about Ty, but like. We're in the same boat. We're in the same boat. Like, this is what I'm deciding to do. Ty's going into football. Um, and obviously, I think both of us are probably going to keep making my team content until something else takes off. But, like, again, the day the basketball channel makes... The day the basketball channel makes more money than my 2K channels 
is the day I stop uploading 2K. That is, like, I'm putting that out there right now. The day it makes more money in my 2K is the day I'm done playing 2K. And I think Ty is probably going to be something similar for um, Madden. He's going to make Madden, or not Madden stuff. He probably will end up making some Madden stuff, especially when I get to start of that game. He'll probably go from NCAA football to Madden because you can very easily change between the two of them. Um, when he goes from NCAA football, as soon as that starts getting more views in 2K, he's probably going to leave 2K as well. The growth, again, is not there. The opportunities, again, are not there. And, um, and that's where I'm at right now. So, again, we'll see tomorrow when I load up that blog what's there. But this rinse and repeat cycle that I've been going on the last three months has not been healthy for me personally. Like, genuinely, it's not been healthy for me because I, 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 I can't do what I want to do. I'm, I'm, I can't make it my team. I'm playing the game 2K's team. Like, I can't even it's run their the team. team I want to run. If it was up to me, guys, I would, you know, love to have a guy like Scottie Pippen on my team. I would love to maybe have a guy, let's say, like a, a, a Luol Deng on my team. I think he's fantastic. Or even like a Dr. J. I can no longer do that. I got to gamble. I got I to gotta pray that I, I, I get the good or the cards that, that, that I want. Yeah, he's not I wrong. Just, I, I don't wrong. see this game getting better if this is the way it's it, not going it, to. it continues to trend. And even in Season 7, I'm going to say it like this. Even in Season 7, if Season 7 is the best season of, of this year, of this, you know, that we've seen... I still don't think I'm 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 gonna stay in 2K. Like genuinely, I do believe tomorrow is the make or break for me. Like to I genuinely set, think season seven's gonna be fine. Season eight's gonna be fine. And I think that we, as soon as we get into 2K25 territory, we're gonna have a dead season till March. That's just it is what it is. I think getting out of that cycle. I think getting out of a si the cycle of my team is probably the way to go. And like even if you're someone like a Henry. Like, I don't know. I would assume, considering how well his my career does, much better that does than my team, he's going to stick more to that. He just tweeted about setting up a new basketball channel. If he ends up, genuinely, if he ends up with a Henry Talks Hoops, I'm copyrighting that crap. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, more people talking about ball, ball, the more fun it is. Either way, let's go. Tomorrow, again, if season seven is all gambling, I'm, I'm out. I'm literally out, and I don't know when it's gonna start. If it starts the day uh, of, if it starts the week of, and I still might stream, I whatever. But again, as far as content is concerned, it's it's not there, and it's not just me. Look at the other YouTubers. Look at the other content creators. Look how their views are doing, man. Look at look at the community numbers. Look at how many people are watching 2K content compared to the previous. Zilch. It's not me. I used to average more. I used to as an individual. Average more live viewers than 2K has averaged as a game for live viewers in the last like month, which is nuts. There has never been a time this year where there has been more than 1,500 people in total on Twitch watching my team content. I used to average two and a half K. It's dead. It's dead, dead. And I mean, Ty used to average like 900, 1,000. It's not me. And so. I know, I'm just making this video to vent to you guys and, and to, to hope that 2K does change. But honestly, part of me hopes they don't change. Part of me hopes they don't. And here's why. If 2K doesn't change, they're going to force people to look elsewhere. They're going to force people to play other games. They're going to force people to actually do something and, 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 and take that risk, take that step to play in another game. That I Nothing's going to change. We're, we're looking at it from our perspective ironically 2k don't realize 2k think that us leaving the community is going to be a good thing it's not but that's what they want they don't want they don't want us making content they don't want the fans of us playing the game people that were would be following us they don't want us playing the game we can say oh if 2k don't change maybe that's part of the reason 2k aren't changing maybe they're saying we just have another bad season and you see this section of player base that we don't like the vocal minority let's get rid of the vocal minority that's that's what they're trying to do. Like I have a feeling that's what they're trying to do. Or whether they're trying to do that, that discussion is at least one. Like I can't say one hundred percent because I actually don't know anything. Probably seventy five percent chance that discussion is at least taking place. That they want and enjoy their time a lot more. That's where I'm at. And this is coming from somebody. If you look at how many hours I logged in season six, it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of hours. 
And you guys are gonna ask Ty, why did why did you play the game that much? I played the game that much because I'm committed to not spending money on this game the rest of the year. And I don't know how long I gotta do content for. He plays a lot more of this game than I do. <laughs> but I'm committed to not spending money on the rest of this game. That's how much of, 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 of just built up animosity I have towards 2K, towards Take Two, and towards this game. So yeah, I played the game a lot. But I'm telling you right now, if season seven has no change, and I don't think it's going to, you know, point guard Jokic just hit it behind a paywall. It, it just doesn't, it's, not, it, it's not trending towards that right direction. It's not going to change. And I promise you, I load up the thing tomorrow. Not saying I'll be done right away. But y'all gonna see, man. Y'all gonna see. Uh, 2K wise, I'm out. If, if, if they're not willing to change, I'm out. Am I sure it's gonna be a success for me right away? No. But I'll figure it out. Content creation for me is just beginning. I promise y'all that. And I'm gonna look back on this and say, thank you, Take Two. Thank you. So, again, this is not my official goodbye from 2K because if they do change things and, 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 and my views go crazy and, and the community starts, you know, with 2K, if they, if they can allow their devs to follow me back and start working with the community, awesome. But I think it's, it's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. They don't want us. We don't want, we don't, they don't want us. We don't want them. It's as simple as that. Like you can say, oh, we want the devs to follow us back. No, we don't. Well, maybe he does. I don't. That bridge is burned. Again, not a nothing personal. I can guarantee you if I happen to just run into six man Sam, it would be a fine conversation. Like whatever Sam, I don't know what his second name is, and Mick Curley met in person. But DBG, the online persona, which is obviously my actual opinions and my personal things dialed up to 100, and the six man Sam, the 2K dev, those two things, and I don't mean just specifically him, even Pete, Mike Stauffer as well. There's never going to be a case where I'm even, like, me personally, I'm even going to be open to any sort of a, any sort of a truce. Unless it starts off with an apology from them. That's, that's the only reason. And I still don't even, that's one, that's not going to happen. Two, I still don't even think I would. Because I legitimately think, and not those people, I actually think those people that were asked about this mode would say it's terrible. I think they'd tell you it's terrible mode. Um... And again, I'm not putting words in their mouth. That's what I assume. I haven't spoke to either of them in years. But like, from the way they were on social media when the mo was good, from the way they interacted, like, and them just going zero or going dark on social media, like they know this is going to be a disaster. Um, or it is a disaster. So it is what it is. Like, I think that entire chain of command, I've called the company evil. And what I'm referring to with that is the entire chain of command that has led to this. I'll use the word evil. Because I think the outcome of this whole situation has gotten thousands more people hooked on gambling than would that would not be already hooked on gambling. Which I think is legitimately bordering on evil for the sake of dollars, some dollars. So whatever about Ty, I got no interest. I got absolutely no interest. I have I will appreciate the guys that I worked with in 2K. We'll appreciate the times when devs like Sam will be con will be asking me. I'd appreciate all those times that Mike Stauffer back in the day would go into my stream, see what people in the community wanted, see what cards people wanted in order to make a better game. I'll always be appreciative of that. I'll be appreciative of Matt, Becky, um, for getting me involved with 2K UK. I'd be appreciative of Tom, Mike, um, Zaro, Evan, for even when I was in a blacklist, at least giving me the time of day if I asked some questions. Um, constant as well. He's gone. Like, appreciate. I so much appreciate. Uh, I will always appreciate the fact that, as far as an individual basis, I don't have a bad word to say about anyone I've ever spoke to at 2K. But the entirety of this situation, I'll use the word evil to describe this company, and nothing on the individuals in it, because they're all doing their jobs. But the outcome of them doing their jobs, I genuinely just think is the worst thing we've seen in gaming it's been clear since ever since take two made their dev team unfollow creators that have an opinion i think that said a lot about the future of this. i don't get why they unfollow ty i get me i get jd because like whatever about us jd has said worse things than either of us have ever said actually maybe not i just called the entire company evil so maybe not <laughs> like but like, I think he did go, he went personally at people, which is a little bit different. Even though, to be fair, 
someone might personally made a decision they might take something personally that I'd say but either way um yeah I do think that that was a wild day I think they made they all follow Big C Richie I don't know why they don't follow Big C Richie this game I, I genuinely do and the moment that 2k wants to work with their community maybe the moment I I, I, I can I can I can start you know tolerating them so we'll see what happens tomorrow one, they won't, and two, fair play to Ty for being able to sweep it all under the rug because I can't. I can't. I got I got too much pride and everything. No, I've got like not too much pride. I've got like I've said so much crap about people over the last three months. I've said so much crap about the people that have relationships with 2K and how they should rethink it that if I was to win 80 and do that, I'd be a complete hypocrite. So Ty hasn't. In fairness, Ty hasn't done that, but if I did, I'd be just a complete hypocrite. I'm actually excited for it because guess what? The day I retire from making 2K content on YouTube is the day I think I'm I'm I, I'm gonna be better off. I genuinely believe. Yes. That. So, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. I hope you guys respond. I stand by that, but um, yeah, um, I'm in the same boat. Very very similar. Like we're gonna go, probably go different directions. But the thing is, the type of content that me and Ty excel at is regular news content, constantly being switched on 24-7, and being able just to get content out. Being able to churn content out, being like a one-man content factory, or two-man in Ty's case. And there are not a lot, like, it's a hard thing to do. It is a really hard thing to do as far as, like, content creation is concerned, because as much as some of you guys are watching this video or watching Ty's video and thinking, oh, we could do that, why didn't you? Why don't you? Honestly, why don't you? You see, JC's making good money. He started in 22 just doing what we did. Like, if you just want to... If you want, if you think you're able to do what we're doing, cool. Then when we go, you do what I, we're doing, and you make money. You go and buy, in Ty's case, multiple houses, or in my case, a five-bedroom house in Dublin with 2K money. Like, if what we're doing is easy, if that's what you're thinking, you do it. You do it. And that's to any of you guys. And that's not like a... You can't... You can you can. It doesn't take talent. It takes discipline. It takes discipline. The ability. It takes the willingness to work every single day. It takes the willingness to, even though I'm currently doing a masters, I coach. I am basically a pro basketball team. I play the sport. I do a bunch of things in my life, which means a lot of time I work till three, four, five a.m. Wake up, and live off no sleep. Like if you're willing to have that discipline, yeah, you can take over from me and Tiny. You may go living out of this game. It's gonna be open very soon. That slot's gonna be open. So if you want. If you think you can do what we do, go do it. You'll make a good living. Either way, yeah. Anyway, that is a bit of a rant over.